Sony Universe Dark Wind. He's a... Uh, oh, shit. Obviously a repaint of uh, Silverbolt. Uh, I never got Silverbolt. I always thought it was uh, a really lame figure. You know, the transformation's really simple. The paint scheme's really simple. Just all, all in all, a lame figure. And it always kind of irked me that I had just about every other figure from the classic line but him. And I like these big Transformers. And for some reason, just he does not appeal to me. Caught this guy at Toys R Us today. Um, totally forgot they even repainted him until I saw him. Loved it. Love this paint scheme. I mean, translucent purple plastic. I mean, it lights up when you hit the button. It's got all the same uh, sound effects as Power Glide. That's fine. I don't care. The gold, the shiny, shimmery gold on the purple looks great. For some reason, the purple and teal, those are just awesome colors. Awesome colors together. But, anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, he's still obviously got the same transformation as uh, Silver Bolt, but he makes up for it with his appearance. So, to transform him, take the arms, yeah, this is just like, in the history of Transformers, this has got to be one of the most simplest ones for one of the, for a decent size one at least. Pull down the legs. Now this is a cool feature. I like this. Do this. Ha <laughs> ha! The infamous transforming sound. I swear to God, you could put that on a Legends class toy that is totally horrible, and I'll still think it's awesome. For some reason, when they put that sound effect on these transformers, it just makes it that much more appealing. As it should. Yeah, there, I mean, there he is. I mean, there isn't much to him, you know, except for he just looks badass. You know, he's got his gun, which uh, the missile fired, or fired earlier. I'm not going to demonstrate or tell you how far it fires. They all fire far. Uh, yeah, so there he goes. Um, pretty much I bought him, you know, for one, I did kind of want him, but Silverbolt was just too lame. So, his updated paint scheme definitely, definitely enticed me. But also, because I'm lacking on Decepticons. I mean, I got my classic shelf here. And I look at all these Autobots. All classics. Except for Animated Blur, which I think he looks like he should be there anyways. But then I got my Decepticons. And they're just barren, you know? And I got Energon Shock Blast to fill a void. I got the G1 Soundwave, but uh, they are lacking in troops, so he will go somewhere, and he will be one of my Megatron's, you know, loyal Decepticon. Yeah, so, all in all, if it wasn't for this repaint... I wouldn't have got him. Let's see if I can turn that light off, get the glare down. But I really like him. I have no regrets on buying him now. You know, he's made out of that nice, durable plastic that uh, Power Glide is. I think they uh, kind of cheated us on much of the newer uh, Classics line with the, the quality of plastic. But that still won't stop me from buying him. You know, as long as they represent, you know, and pay a good homage to the G1 counterpart, they look good on the shelf. But there he is, Transformers Universe Dreadwind. Hope you enjoyed it. Transform